North Carolina Republican National Committee woman. And many people were making issue of the fact that we don't have many blacks in the Tea Party, but I want you to know that I like tea. And I also want you to know that the Republicans probably have more blacks involved in our organization than any organization. And hopefully in the next couple of months, I have a book coming out called Common Sense Conservative Prescription that will tell you a little bit about what we need to do to get this country going again. One of the things that I have been doing for 10 years is advocating some prescriptions for America. And the first prescription that I have advocated that nobody seemed to pay attention to is we need to make English the national language in this country. Because it is clear to me that you cannot be one nation under God if everybody is speaking something different. So it's time that we got it together. I also believe that we don't have to worry about a contract with America, a pledge for America, because we already have a contract, and that contract is the Constitution of the United States, and people need to follow it. People need to understand it. People need to adhere to it. There are many things that I could say, and I don't want to belabor certain issues, but let me tell you what my concern is. We're going to win some races. We may not win all of them, but after we win the races, my concern is, how will we govern? Because if you think that the Tea Party is over, let me tell you, your charge is every two years, we have to keep people accountable. We have to make sure that it's not enough to talk about limited government or decreasing taxes. We must say, what are our solutions? And one of the things the Tea Party and everybody else must do is to come forth and tell us, what do you want to see done? It's not Congress's America. It's the people's America. And the people must stand forth and say, these things we believe, these things we want to see. You know, I told a story the other night, and it was a funny story. I like Joel Osteen, and his, his comedy Sunday was that a Baptist moved into a Catholic community. And every Friday night, while they were having fish, he was having steak. And they could smell the steak on all the barbecues throughout the community. And they were getting a little tired of it. So they told him, you know, this is a Catholic community. And you need to get on board with the program. So the man finally joined the Catholic church. And when he joined, the priest sprinkled water over him, And they said, you are now Catholic. The next Friday, in the community, they went outside, and the people smelled the beef again. So they went to his house to see what he hadn't learned about being a Catholic. And as they were there watching him grill his beef, they watched him sprinkle water over it, saying, you were from a Baptist, you once were a cow, you are now a fish. Now, I tell you that story because one of my concerns is there are people who are telling you what you want to hear just to get your vote. And they have been sprinkled with the water to convince you that they hold certain values, and they don't. And so whether they win or not, we have to be ever vigilant because democracy is not a part-time sport. Democracy is a day in, day out, 24 hours a day, seven day a week advocation where we have to stand up for what's best for America. And you know what's best for America. My daddy told me as a preacher what was best. Your parents told you. And don't sit lamenting the loss of America. We're gonna be fine. Because one of the things I remember my father saying, this too shall pass. The fools will pass, and we will get some leaders on the horizon. And maybe what we needed was some adversity to understand what we could lose if we didn't get our act together. It is time that we got our act together. It is time for us to stand up for America. And it is time for us to be counted for the things that include inclusion. 
You know, we can't all be president, but we can all be citizens. We can all participate, and we can all certainly vote. One of my goals as a Republican National Committee woman is to tell you, I want everybody's vote for the candidates I support. I don't care what color they are. I don't care what party they belong to. I want the votes. Because we don't win unless we get the votes. And it's too easy to become complacent and say, well, I don't need to get out here to vote because they don't need my votes. The polls say, don't you believe polls? Polls are for idiots. <laughs> you need to understand what my friend Jesse Helms used to say. I've never seen a poll that voted. <laughs> you got to get out there and vote. They say that you're the Tea Party, which means taxed enough already. But I tell you, T means you are totally enabled advocates for the United States Constitution, and we need to stand up for it and get her done.